if you all saw the recent video I made, I don't know, a month ago, and I released one today, and I've got the links for the most recent videos. Meredith Whitney, you've got the media lying. They're li this is media fraud, more proof of media fraud. They're claiming she predicted the financial crisis. I will give anybody in the world a gazillion dollars, as much as you want, if you can prove she predicted the financial crisis. Guaranteed fact, God kill me dead right now if Meredith Whitney predicted the financial crisis. If you can show any proof, she did not. It's a complete fraud. The media continues to list off all these scammers, none of which predicted the financial crisis. And I take personal offense at that because I'm probably the only person who really did. Certainly the person who did with the most accuracy and detail and comprehensiveness, no doubt about that. Uh, but the important point here, and, and of course, when you've got a person like me in that position, I'm the guy that's gonna say who, you know, who's credible, who might have predicted it and, and who had, who did not. Meredith Whitney absolutely did. In fact, take if, if any of you out there can, can, and I'd like to see it, please, please show me if there is someone out there who really did, I'd like to see evidence. There, there has to be somebody that, that, you know, maybe to some degree, right? To some degree, but the people that they claim that did, absolutely did. And it's absolute apparent obvious fraud when they're claiming people like Norel Rubini predicted it, right? Look at what they claim. Look at what they've attributed uh, his, uh, uh, his his prediction to. Similar to Meredith Whitney, as I talk about, she basically predicted, and I remember this because uh, this is when I, I put the call uh, to get out of the market before I, I, I launched my firm, people I was advising back in October, 2007, when the market hit a high and I just couldn't believe it. But Meredith Whitney, uh, around that time, talked about a dividend cut with City, Citibank. That's it, that's not a prediction of a financial crisis. That's ridiculous. But the point I wanted to get to folks, you can see here, is that you might notice that she, she's on the, the campaign now, the media, the marketing campaign. You may have noticed that. You know, CNBC's promoting her, claiming she predicted the financial crisis. Yahoo's doing it now, right? It's, it's gonna go on the, in the circle jerk of, of scammers. And the reason why, and of course, I believe she's paying them. I believe, and here's how it works. There's money that's exchanging hands. Um, I believe what's going on is that there's a very strong push to promote her. Oh, she predicted, and, and you'll recall, of course, Two years after, three years after the financial crisis in 2011, she came up with this absolutely ridiculously insane uh, muni default prediction, which was a joke. And I knew at the time it was a joke. Uh, and I talked about that. She was featured on 60 Minutes, all this and that. It came and passed and no one talked about it, how she was a failure. She tried to start a hedge fund, failed. She tried to start a credit rating agency, failed. So she disappeared for a decade. Now she's coming back, right? So. The reason why she's on this big campaign to get all this fraudulent promotion, why? Because guess what? Anybody can guess if you if you watch the recent videos on her, not today's videos, but the ones before, you'll know why. Anyone wanna guess? The reason why, folks, is that guess what? She knows that, that, that no serious investors are gonna take her seriously now. She's such a loser, an airhead, an idiot. So guess what? She's gonna sell her research to the retail market. To the dumb money <laughs> you understand this is why she's on this big strong campaign so you're going to have so think about it you got the retail market which very few people know that she didn't predict them if the media says she did it they're going to believe it right you all understand what i'm saying so now she's launching to the retail market right the sheep the dumb money and this is why they're all lying about her. They're, they're, they're committing, this is a huge, this is fraud is what it is. And this is what the media does. They did this with Norrell Rubini and all these other people. This pisses me off like you cannot believe. Just keep your eye on this. You'll, you'll notice more and more she's promoted this and that. You all know the deal. And, you know, warn people about this. It's complete fraud. 